Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about sum of natural numbers using for loop. So I will use a C language. So about the natural number, uh, that is start from 1 and uh, positive integer 1, 2, 3 till n. Now I am going to discuss about the dry run method of this program. So the first line is has include stdio dot h that is a header file a standard input output dot h header file. So the use of uh, this header file or uh, the definition of printf and scanf or uh, function written inside of or studio dot h header file and about to has include curly dot h that is console input output header file so the definition of get ch or function written inside of curly dot h so printf function and scanf function or oh, this is a predefined function and get ch uh, function also predefined function so this function and or uh, this function written or uh, the definition inside of studio.h and curly.h. Now if you debug the code then control will go to main method. Here after that will or uh, go inside. Sorry, if you are using uh, C language uh, so main can we say or uh, that main function but uh, in java.net or uh, main or uh, we can say or uh, method so if you debug the code then control comes to main function after that will go inside and add here or uh, there are three integer type of variable first n and or uh, second i and awesome initialize with zero. Now that will go in or down print of enter positive integer number. So I'm going to enter 50. So that will go to n. So at here that will n become 50. So at here a scanner function I'm using so percent D because so n is integer and ampersand I'm using so some uh, particular address that will store n values so n value I into 50 
So here after that we'll go inside i value start from 1 and that will check the condition i less than equal to 50 condition true. So if the condition true then that will go inside. And hereafter sum equal to sum plus equal to i or we can write sum equal to or sum plus i. So initially the value of sum is uh, 0 and i value is now 1. So 0 plus or uh, 1 then that will become 1. So in sum or uh, that will one. Now hereafter that will go off and increase the value of i. Now i become two. And or uh, that will check the condition two less than equal to fifty. That's true. Then again that will go inside. And or uh, sum equal to sum plus i. So sum value is now one. One plus r. Uh, i value is two. One plus two three. Also, uh, sum become 3. And here after again the same process, i become uh, 1, 2, or uh, sorry, 2, 2, 3. And check the condition 3 less than equal to 50 condition true, then that will go inside. And sum equal to sum plus i. Sum value is now uh, 3, 3 plus i value is now 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 plus 3 or uh, equal to 6. So sum becomes 6. Now again, yeah, that will increase the value of i. So i becomes uh, 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 15. That's true. Then that will go inside. And again, sum equal to sum plus i. Sum value is now 6. 6 plus i value 4. 6 plus 4 or uh, then sum become 10. Again that will increase the value of i. i become 5. And hereafter uh, that will check the condition 5 less than equal to 50. Uh, and that's true. Then that will go inside. Sum equal to sum plus i. So sum value is now 10. And i value is now 5. 10 plus 5, 15. So if I'm going to give uh, 5 only. So n value, I enter, suppose I enter n value uh, 5. Uh, then uh, that will increase the value of i. And i becomes 6. So at here that will check the condition i value is now 6. 6 less than equal to 5 that's not true. Then that will go out of order. So at here sum equal to percentage. So that will print and percentage because so n is so uh, oh sorry sum is integer and uh, that will print sum equal to the value is now 15. Uh, so that will print uh, 15. After that will go down. So the user gets this math uh, function to take one input from keyword and after that will terminate the output screen. So this is the logic of this program. So I hope guys you understand. Now next I will discuss the same program using while loop. If you compile the code, 
or the first control comes to main method here after that we go inside uh, so there are three it is a type of variable n i and sum so sum value in this range with uh, zero so here after that we'll go uh, down so print up enter positive number positive integer number so that will go to n suppose if i'm going to enter 5 and i value start from 1 also uh, at here that will uh, go in autumn uh, and while i value is now 1 so check the condition 1 less than equal to 5 that's true then that will go down sum equal to sum plus i sum value is now 0 0 plus or 1 that will become 1 now that will increase the value of i so i become 2 again here after that will go and check the condition so 2 less than equal to uh, 5 that's true then that will go to inside of while loop so at your sum equal to sum plus i sum value is now 1 1 plus or 2 so sum become 3 then again that will increase the value of i so i become 3 so again that will check the condition 3 less than or uh, equal to or uh, 5 that's true then that will go inside sum equal to sum plus i so where is now 3 3 plus i i is now 6 or uh, 3 so 3 plus 3 or uh, 6 again that will increase the value of i so i become 4 and uh, check the condition for less than equal to 5 that's true then that will go inside sum equal to sum plus i so sum value is now uh, 6 6 plus i value is 4 6 plus 4 uh, sum become 10 now hereafter increase the value of i so i become 5 and uh, that will check the condition uh, 5 less than 5 that's true then that will go inside sum is now 10 so sum equal to sum plus i 10 plus i i value is 5 so 10 plus 5 sum become 15 and increase the value of i so i become 6 so after that will check the condition 6 or less than equal to Five, that's not true then that will auto file so I do now uh, that will print sum uh, equal to sum value is now 15 so that will print 15 and uh, get ch uh, method uh, sorry get ch function is there uh, so the use of get ch function that will take one input from the keyboard and after that will terminate the output screen so I hope guys you understand the logic of this program. So thanks for watching. If you have any problem related to this program, so leave your comment. Uh, thank you again.